Hi, <laughs> welcome to my house. Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would show you around my house and do a full house tour. I did one of these probably about two years ago now, but our house has changed like internally, decor wise and furniture wise quite a lot. So I just thought I would do a little updated tour for you all so you can have a look around our house and see how it flows because quite a few of you have asked kind of like how um, rooms connect to each other. So I just thought I would do one of these videos for you. We bought this house probably about three or four years ago now and we did like massive renovations to it. I will link down below in my description box our old house tour, so definitely go and check that out because I think you guys would be really amazed to see how different our house is today. Right, I'm gonna take you to the front door and we're gonna start from there. Right, so this is our porch area. This is actually an extension onto our house. Um, so it's really nice and light because on our front door we have got panelling either side that lets in so much light, which is really nice. This is where we keep all of our coats and our bags and the dog lead and things like that and our shoes. And then I have got this little plant from Ikea which I wanted to put here to kind of brighten up the hallway as you come in. So as you come into our house, as you turn right, you go into our fourth bedroom, which is actually our guest bedroom. Last time I did a house tour in here, this was probably Chris's gym, or AKA our shite room, because this is like our dumping ground. We would just come in here and put all of our rubbish in here. And then we have loads of people come to stay with us all the time. So we kept having to make the boys share a room every time they came and stayed. So I thought it would be much more beneficial to have this as a bedroom, which is really, really nice now because when our guests come to stay, they have their own little space. We have got a double bed in here and this is actually a storage bed, which is an ingenious idea. I'm gonna link below where all these different products are from. But as you can see, when you lift this bed up, it's got so much storage underneath it, which is brilliant because we have got loads of like coats in here, Chris's gym gear, and it just hides away so much of our stuff. I wanted to keep this bedroom really easy and simple so it didn't have loads of things in it. So what we have just got is two bedside tables, which I actually did a DIY for, cement DIY. I will link that down below in my description box too. And then up above the bed, we have got these three prints that are from Desenio. They are actually from a collaboration that I did with them a little while ago, and I absolutely love these prints. And then over on the sideboard, you will see that we have got my painting that I painted myself. This is my little abstract painting, and this used to be above our bed in our bedroom. But um, when we changed our bedroom around, I thought it'd be really nice to have this down here to add a little pop of color here. We moved this storage unit, which is actually from Indigo Furnitures, and we put it in here so that when people come to stay, they can actually take their clothes out of their bags and put them away so they feel a little bit more like they're at home. I have dressed the top of this unit with a really nice big globe, which I got from a local selling site actually for 40 pounds, absolute bargain. I have got a really nice chess set that Chris and I got when we went to Egypt on our first ever holiday together. And I have got this lovely little pineapple light, which is from Iconic Lights. And, then, and I have dressed every single window in our house with these shutters. I absolutely love a shutter. I feel like they never date. So I know that these shutters will be here for like years and years and years. Right, so coming out of this room back into the hallway and across the hallway, we are going into the playroom slash my office. So this room, like I said, is a playroom slash my office. My kids don't actually have loads of toys and they're really outdoorsy kids. So as you can see, it's quite a minimalistic playroom. We do have some storage chests here, which hold all of their board games. And we have got these really nice little storage baskets as well. This sofa is from Ikea. It's actually a sofa bed and you can pull it out and it makes a double bed, which is absolutely ideal because then this acts as a fifth bedroom, which is brilliant because when the kids have people over to stay or my friends come with their kids, then it just gives us one more room in the house to sleep in. Over in this corner is my little office area. So this is where I do all of my editing 
and I try and keep it as tidy as possible. As you can see, I've got like dual screen. That's mainly for Chris because I don't really know how it all works, but he does quite a lot of my editing. I absolutely love my desk. This is from Coochie Design, and as you can see, it's got three little drawers at the top, which actually hold so much stuff in there. I really love my little office setup. I feel like it's my little space. I've got my printer plugged in. I've got really cute little like knick-knacky bits on my desk, and it just makes me happy when I come and sit here. One of my favorite things in this room is actually the light that we've got in here. I absolutely love it, it's from Habitat. It was quite expensive, I think it was about 160 pounds, but it's like a bashed copper effect light. I just think it looks so nice. If we ever move, this is 100% coming with us. So as you can see, our playroom flows through into our extension room and then to the outside. But what I'm going to do is take you back into my hallway and I wanna show you how when you open the front door, you can see all the way through into our garden, which was one thing that I was so keen to have when we had this extension done. Right, back in the hallway and as you can see, you can see all the way through into our garden, which I love. So I'm gonna take you through now into the kitchen. Oh, before we go to the kitchen, here is a little downstairs toilet. It's very small, but it does its job. It's just got a little toilet in there and a mini corner sink. And we have also got this little unit, which is from Ikea, and I actually added some legs onto it myself. This was another little video that I did. And um, these, again, are Decenio prints. So when people ask me about this lamp, actually, I'm going to turn it on and show you it. Um, when you turn it on, it casts a really nice effect on all of the walls, but this is from John Lewis. We got it for our wedding as a wedding gift and they don't sell it anymore, but I will try and find something similar to link below because so many of you asked me about it. This is another little storage place where we keep some shoes. So these two baskets at the bottom, we've got one for the boys and one for Chris and I, and it's a really good way to just hide those extra shoes. And this is our kitchen and extension room. This is probably where I spend most of my time. You know that I do loads of cooking videos, so this is kind of my area in the house. So when we first moved into this house, this kitchen was so much smaller and we actually made it a lot bigger. And one of my main things that I wanted to be able to do was be able to stand here cooking, but also be able to see the boys playing outside. And I wanted our kitchen sort of diner family room to be really flowing and everyone feel very inclusive. So what we did is have this really big island put in with four stools so people can chat to me while I am cooking. And then we have our dining table right in front of it and our sofa and seating area to the left hand side of it. Over on this wall, we decided to have full floor to ceiling cupboards, like larder cupboards. We have got our fridge freezer built in here, our oven, and then lots of larder cupboards to store the rest of our goods. I would definitely say our kitchen has got the most storage over any other room in our house. As you can see, underneath our hob, we have got loads of drawers as well, and they are really, really deep. I love having my pots and pans right underneath my hob, so they're really easily accessible when I need them. So over here, this is the brick wall that Chris and I put up ourselves. This is not a real brick wall. We actually got these from Coochie Design and they are brick slips. We actually put this all up ourselves and we pointed out ourselves that we are really, really proud of this. We have got it on this wall and another wall, no extension. And I think it adds a real like nice bit of depth to our house and it makes it feel a lot cozier. And then we decided to put this shelf up. I think this is from the farthing um, because we do love a coffee. So we like to have a little coffee station here, which is by our coffee machine and our water machine, which is from Virgin Pure. It's our kettle and it's a water purifier at the same time. Right through into our extension, this is the other brick wall that Chris and I did ourselves. So this was actually the first wall we did and we realized it was so easy to do that we decided to follow it through into the kitchen. Over in this corner, we have got my little egg chair, which I love. This was from Aldi. No one can believe that it's from Aldi, 149 pounds. I think they've actually still got them in stock. So I will try and link it down below if they do. And then we have got our dining table here. And then if you go through to this area, this is where we have our seating and our TV area. Um, this is in our winter layout because we actually change it around in the summer so that you can easily access the garden. So one of the main things that we wanted when we were doing our extension was to have as big a space of bifolding doors as possible. When we first asked the architect, he said we needed to have a pillar in the middle, but then 
we managed to be able to do it like this. So these are my absolute favorite. This is seven meters of bifold and doors. And when they are open, you feel like the outside is inside and it just feels so very nice. And so now that the weather is changing and summer is coming, we can open the doors up and make the most of this space. As you can see, our patio is quite bare, but I will be doing like a patio tour very soon where I show you how we kind of dress our patio with the furniture and everything like that. Let's go upstairs. Right, so these are our stairs, and this is probably one of my favorite prints in my house. This again is from Pisenio, and I absolutely love it. She is obviously a bit of a warrior and obviously representing girl power. As you come upstairs to your right, we have got Jamie's bedroom. He has got this bed here, which is a single bed, but it has a little pull-out bed underneath. I think this is from the White Company, but my sister actually gave me this bed when they moved home. His bedside table here was a DIY project, like an upcycle of mine. I got this from a charity shop. I took the door off on one side. I painted it up and I changed the little knobs to football designs and I think it looks really, really cool. This is painted in Hague Blue by Farrow and Ball. So in this bedroom, we decided to have this exposed wardrobe. Lots of people might think this looks really messy, but I actually think it looks quite quirky and quite fun. So everything like jumpers, shirts, um, school shirts and things like that all gets hung up here. And then on the wall here, we have got two of Chris's football shirts. We got each of his football shirts where he got a promotion in that year. Um, framed. So this shirt here is from Peterborough and this shirt here is from Gillingham. Right, coming back into the landing and if you go to your right you will see our family bathroom. So again this has changed a lot in our renovations. We got these tiles from a little bespoke tile shop up in Brentwood Town. I absolutely love them. These are also in our ensuite bathroom. We went for Hague Blue on the walls with yellow accessories which I just think complement each other really really well. This sink unit is from Ikea. It wasn't very expensive at all, and I think it's really nice to have this kind of long sink unit. You could obviously have two separate taps, but as it's a boys' bathroom, we didn't need to do that. And as you can see, it's got so much storage in here as well. I keep all of my towels in here, and then all of my kind of extra soaps and bits like that. Right, back into the landing and straight over, we are gonna go into Rory's bedroom. Rory has a double bed because like I said before we made the room downstairs a guest bedroom this is where guests would stay and then Rory would move into Jamie's room and share with him for a couple of nights. We recently redecorated this room because Rory really wanted to have some wallpaper so he chose this wallpaper himself. This is graffiti wallpaper and he honestly is so obsessed with it and he loves it. Now he wants another wall covered in it but I think that might just be a little bit too much. As you will have seen from our old house tour, this used to be two bedrooms. There used to be a wall down here, but it made this bedroom so tiny. So what we did is we knocked the wall down and then we just made it into one big bedroom. And I think that works so much better. Over in this corner, we had a desk built in for Rory so he can do all his homework here. And he likes to collect a lot of stuff, as you can see. Back into the landing and I'll show you our bedroom. So this is our bedroom. It's not the biggest bedroom, but it's got everything that we need in it. This is a king size bed, which probably doesn't help take up all the space in our room, but this is from Indigo Furniture and I absolutely love it. These prints up on the wall are again from Decenio, from a recent collaboration I did with them. And we have put them up and they are standing on Ikea shelves. I think they look really, really nice. And I think because they go past the bed, like either side, it makes our bedroom look a little bit bigger and a little bit wider. Behind our door, we have got our wardrobes. These are Ikea wardrobes and they are the slimline version. So if you open up my wardrobe, you will see that our clothes are hanging back to front, like facing you like that, instead of kind of sideways. And then we have little drawers where we keep all of our clothes as well. Through here is our ensuite. This is super tiny, but we've got a shower in here, we've got a sink and we've got a toilet. What more do you need? In here again, we have the same tiles as we do in the main bathroom. Right, so that's it. That's my whole house. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet gone over to watch my old house tour, then I would highly recommend it because I don't think you'll believe how much this house has changed since then. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.